What do you think about trying out the new X2 today in street photography? Well, the X2 was uh, an interesting experience. I played a lot with uh, the original X1, and some things that I find uh, improved over the, the original is, first of all, the, the shutters, the shutter dial, is a lot stiffer, which I like, is that it's less likely to get accidentally bumped or anything like that. As well as being able to change the aperture, it's a lot more satisfying to just kind of uh, turn the click dial and know that it won't get docked in any other direction. One thing also like about using this for street photography is that you could pre-focus the, the manual focus to 1.2 meters or whatever, and I've noticed that there's you know little to no shutter lag on it when you're shooting street photography. I kind of like this, uh, the new electric viewfinder, in the sense that you could, you know, go on the ground, take photos of people's shoes at really uh, unusual uh, angles. Image quality is really good. Um, kind of like this cool new pop-up flash. It feels comfortable in hand. It's not very heavy. It's a with a 24 crop. It's about 35 mil. It's very nice. Um, the thing that you know I'll probably prefer is probably using an optical viewfinder. Is that although the electric viewfinder is very nice. I think for street photography, you want everything as quick as possible. You know, putting on the optical viewfinder would be a lot more responsive when you're shooting on the streets. But other than that, you know, um, I just imported some of the images. So far, they look really sharp, good, uh, great image quality. So, I mean, I guess if you're looking for a camera that has superior image quality, it's very compact, light, easy to carry around, and, you know, very flexible, I think an X2 is, is a pretty, it's a very solid camera. Thank you. Yeah. Sweet.